reasons why we have animal kingdoms is to do what with animals? What are we trying to do? Classify. Classify them, okay? It's called scientific classification. Now, there are a bunch of different types of animals out there, so what we try to do with scientific classification is put them in orderly groups. Uh, what I'm going to do to the video, shh, shh, shh. Uh, for those of you that have the book, turn to page six, okay? Page six, everybody share right here. Okay, I'm going to read you a little story really quick. Hold on, listen up for the story. Shh. It says, classifying our world. It says calling world. all kingdoms. It says a howler monkey, okay, <laughs> pulls out from a tree in the rain forest. He says he's a different book. Oh, yeah. Ken is a different book, Ken. Okay, listen. So look, we're talking about animal kingdom, and we're talking about scientific classification. Okay, so what it says in the book, it says it says a howler monkey calls out from a tree in the rain forest. He's just one kind of animal that lives here. There are many more and about a gazillion different types of plants, too. How do scientists keep track of these different kinds of living things in the world? Well, we just got through discussing that they classify them according to kingdoms. Okay, what I want you to write down, though, is this little book, part right here. It says, look, it says, uh, you write it on the back of the sheet. It says, look, every living creature, write this down, every living creature, Okay, I'll wait for you guys. Is assigned, all right, assigned a kingdom. All right, a phylum. Okay, uh, class, order, family. Okay, genus. And finally, a species. All right, get that down. Okay, now, so let's stop right there. Every living creature is assigned a kingdom, a phylum, a class, order, family, genus, and species. Now, looking at that, that's a lot to remember. So what I want to do is I want to create an acronym to help us remember. So we'll start with K, right? Then we got P. Then we got C. Then we got O. F. G. G. S. Now, the easiest way to remember this is King Philip creates order from general stuff. Everybody say that. King Philip creates order. Order. From general stuff. From general stuff. Alright, one more time. Let's say King Philip. King Philip. Creates order. Creates order. From general stuff. From general stuff. Alright, do we understand? So is that an easy way for us to remember? Is it supposed to make sense? Yes. No. So King Philip creates order from general stuff. Now, everybody got the top part? No, yeah. Yeah. Now, I need to erase that, and I want to give you the other part. Now, the largest, it says, it says it goes on to say, the top level, write this down, the top level, okay, which is the kingdom, is the largest, okay, is the largest, What's up? Any questions? Can you, can I write down King Philip the thing? Yeah, we're going to write that down in a second, okay? It's right there. King Philip creates order from general stuff. That's it. I That's it. Philip. So King, write that down. King Philip, P-H-I-L-L-I-P. -L -L -I, oh, I already wrote one. I only wrote one. Creates okay, well, I'm not. order from, from general stuff. Okay? So King Philip creates order from general stuff. Now what we want to focus on is that the top layer, the top level, the kingdom, is the largest, okay, and most general group. Largest and most general. Now when they say it's the most general, what do they mean? What does it mean when they say? 
not specific. There's a lot of different what? Animals. Different species. Different species. A lot of different animals, different species, and it's very general, okay? It goes on to say the last level, though, the last level. The last level. Okay, which is what? What's the last level? Species. Species, right? Species. Wouldn't it make more sense if genus was at the front and kingdom was second, and then it was phylum, and then it was class, and then it was order, and then it was family, and then it was species? Wouldn't it make more sense then? I tend to agree with you, but the scientists that put this together, when they sat down together, they figured that having kingdom as the largest and most general, and having species as the most specific, Maybe you can see what, because general, because genus sounds more like general, and species sounds like specific. Well, yeah, and I see why you're saying that, because it's easier for you to remember that way. But with the way they're looking at it, though, is from a scientific perspective. And I'll show you now where it says, the species refers to the very what? The very specific, right, uh, kind of creature. Now, for example... Let's look at ourselves. We are what kingdom? What kingdom? Animalia. We're in the human kingdom, right? Animalia. Uh, exact, say it again? Animalia. Okay, now, but what is our species? Homo sapien. Homo sapien, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's homo, homo sapien. sapien. Now, if they were to say, I want you to bring me, let's say an alien meets us. And they say, hello. They say, I want you to bring me five. How would you bring me ten homo, brains? Five homo sapiens. <laughs> How would you bring me ten brains? <laughs> You'll know what they're talking about, right? Because you're very specific. But if they just say to you, um, ten homos. I want you to bring me five animals. Is that specific? Yeah. No. Yeah. Couldn't, yeah. Just, couldn't you just technically <laughs> just go, just go and, and find humans? Yeah, well, right? No, but they say, keep it focused. Well, that's what I'm saying. So if they give it to you like that, and they say it's very general. Okay, if they say it's very general, they say, listen, I want you to bring me five homo sapiens. That's very specific, right? Well, they say, bring me five living things. Even better, if they say to you, bring me five living things, that's specific or is that general? Yeah. Could you just screw a handful of birds and bacteria inside? It's, but that's my point. Is that general? If they say you bring me five living things, it's so broad, it would kind of fit into this idea of a kingdom because it's very general. But if they said to you, bring me five parasites. That would be more like a genius. Just put your Exactly. So the idea is, what we use this for is to help us to scientifically classify. Now for the test, for Mark Twain test, they may ask you, What's the difference between kingdom and species? And the difference is what? A species is one specific animal, while kingdom is a very general type. Is, is very general. It's like many animals put together. Very good. Now, if we wanted to remember all the different classes, what do we have here? It's what? King kingdom creates order from general stuff. There you go. And that's the way. What do we call that when we create a. What is this called? K, B, C, An acronym. Very good. Now, acronyms, we use them to help us to remember, okay? Can anybody remember another a an acronym? Oh. What's the acronym for the pl this planets? Oh, no, I was doing something else. Oh, I yeah. I just want my north, south, east, west. Yeah, never east, south.